Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Okay, uh, if uh, you've been keeping up with me, uh, this will be, this will be uh, a learning experience for you. On, I'm gonna, I want to make two parts, two more parts here. Uh, the first one was, you know, I left. Uh, I went to uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, uh, to see a gal. That was on the first one. Uh, the second one here, I am going to explain everything that happened. I mean, literally, what happened. Okay, and then the third part will be, uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what I did. And like I say, if you've been keeping up with me, every time that I talk about something, uh, I usually have a story to kind of go along with it. What I want to do is I want to go back and I'm going on part three, I'm going to tell you uh, the different things that I did and how it applied to this trip. Uh, so then uh, uh, I say, my videos, when you look at them one at a time, you think he's a nut. But they are all part of a puzzle, pieces of a puzzle. And you put them all together and you get things done. And uh, so what I'm going to tell you on the third part is all the different uh, tactics, techniques, um, the stuff that I did, and uh, uh, and it's all stuff that I've made videos on before, but I've applied uh, those tactics. And uh, but anyway, so I want to start with I say I uh, uh, I drove from uh, here uh, in Guatemala down to the border. I made a video on the border, which so you know what border I'm talking about. And uh, I went to uh, uh, Tapachula, Mexico. And that's on the, the southern end of Mexico. And it's really hot there. And it's hot there all year round. And uh, December 2014 was no exception. It was hot. And uh, so uh, uh, I drove down there. It's uh, it's about about 60 miles, 60 miles. And it uh, to leave here and to get across the border, it takes roughly about four hours. Okay, uh, the four hours tells you the 60 miles is a challenging drive. Plus, we talked about border, going across the border, getting yourself uh, stamped and all that kind of stuff. Uh, come to find out that's one of the busiest uh, borders uh, down here. Now, I notice on the, the Mexico uh, uh, US side, they're really busy. And these aren't so busy, not like it compared up there. but. They're so small uh, that, as I say, one lane going one direction, one lane going the other direction. And so uh, it bottlenecks everything and it really makes things really tough. So uh, that's why it took four hours to get there and get across the border. Then uh, I, uh, um, I was going to take a bus. The bus leaves at... Um, uh, five o'clock in the afternoon and that was on uh, Thursday I believe it was when I did this so I left Thursday morning uh, so uh, I got there like across the border like one one o'clock two o'clock I was across the border so I, I had time and then uh, so I had to uh, uh, buy my ticket uh, you just uh, walk in and buy your tickets not like an airline or you have to uh, get ahead or anything like that and they have a, they call it a direct uh, uh, it's a direct line a bus going from Tapachula, Mexico uh, to Brownsville or to uh, 
Mata, Mata, Mata Thomas, Mata, Mata Thomas, Mata Thomas by Brownsville. It's on the Mexican side. Uh, Mata Tortoise, something like that. But anyway, uh, so it goes all the way up there. It uh, costs $177 uh, in U.S. dollars. Uh, come out about 2,600 pesos is uh, what it came out. And they used, I used a credit card. So uh, that was pretty good. Now you got to remember, I don't speak the language. So I can't ask information. So uh, it ends up... Uh, I'm getting on the bus. I think it's 5:15. I think what exact time when we got on. Oh, uh, so I left my bag, my big bag. I had a big bag and a carry-on. Left my big bag. I checked it in, and then I had to find a place to park my car. And I ended up parking my car in a hotel, and it was just right around the corner from the bus depot. So uh, and it cost uh, 50 pesos uh, a day. Uh, to park my car there and it was under a, a garage or under a roof uh, carport so I was checked from the weather and it was locked up in uh, in the hotel so uh, and then I got my carry-on and I walked over to the bus depot and then I waited to get on the bus and then uh, I always talk and I love people I'm a people person and even though people don't understand what I'm saying, uh, if I see somebody sitting there by themselves, I'll go over and start talking to them. And so uh, I went over and, I, and my Spanish is really, really bad. And so I go and I say, uh, donde? Uh, donde means where, you know? And then so then I go, donde? You know, like, where? I don't know. And then the people, what else? The idea was I'm asking where are they going, that's what I'm asking. But I don't know how to say where are you going, so I say, Donde? <laughs> Donde? <laughs> and so then after a couple of, a uh, little bit of a conversation, you know, finally, the guy finally starts speaking English. He could speak English. So uh, I started talking to him and uh, uh, we just just BSing. And, uh, so uh, he's getting a bus and going someplace else. So, no big deal. And then my, my, my time to get on the bus, I got on the bus, and then we go. Now, you got to remember, they told me it's a 40-hour drive. And I'm trying to figure out 40 hours. Well, I know the bus has got a bathroom in it, so that's going to be okay. But am I supposed to eat? We're going to stop to eat? I have no idea. And I don't know how to ask. So, uh, uh, and I ended up, I got uh, uh, the second row, uh, right behind the driver on the second row. And uh, they had a television in there. And it was like an airplane where you plug in your headset and, and you can watch TV. Uh, the problem was, it was in Spanish, so uh, the good thing was... Um, well, they'd have some action movies, so you don't need much talk in an action movie. And then they had some musicals and stuff like that. So, uh, so anyway, it was. This is what I found out. That's what they did. And we ended up. Uh, it ended up. I think. Um, I want to say 36 hours is what the drive was. And we had uh, uh, three 10-minute stops, and one. 30 minute stop. The 30 minute stop was halfway uh, up there and they uh, they stopped, they fueled the bus, they uh, uh, cleaned it, uh, cleaned the outside and, and did some cleaning on the inside too. So you could keep your bags in the in the bus. Uh, I say I just uh, pretty much just covered my stuff, put it in my seat, so I got it up off the floor so I could clean the floor. And then, uh, um, then that's, you know, so I had 30 minutes. And what I would do is the, the driver would talk over the, the loudspeaker and say everything, but I don't understand. And uh, electronic sound doesn't, my hearing's not real good, and electronic sound's even worse. And in Spanish, I don't understand anyway, so. 
when it was all over, uh, the bus driver would get out and have a smoke, and when he's having the smoke, I'd go over there and I'd ask him, uh, you know, how long, uh, uh, cuando momentos aquí, uh, uh, how many minutes here, and then you'd tell me 10 minutes, De diez, diez momentos, so that I know it's 10 minutes. So then I don't, normally I don't go any further than I can see the bus. <laughs> so I'll walk up and down the ramp, get some exercise, and um, no big deal. Now, before we got to the halfway point going up there, uh, it was about 15 hours. Um, I got sick. <laughs> Motion sickness. Boy, I mean, it was bad sick. So I'd go back to the bathroom. And uh, I didn't have a barf bag with me, uh, so I guess I wasn't really prepared properly. And uh, but I really didn't realize. I knew I didn't feel good. I didn't realize I was sick. I just knew I didn't feel good. So I went back to the bathroom, and right when I got into the bathroom, boy, it just boy, it just came out right there. I was lucky. I hit the sink. So uh, and then what? It, what I didn't, I, I was able to clean up right there. So. Um, so anyway, I did that twice, uh, probably within uh, 30 minutes, and then uh, uh, and I I, w I wasn't eating. I didn't eat before that because I wasn't sure if I should eat and then I was going to get sick or not. I didn't. You know, first time I've taken a long distance bus ride, so uh, I wasn't sure exactly what the proper port protocol was. So I didn't eat. So, and so what I ended up doing is just uh, uh, chucking water, and that was it. So I did that twice. After that, uh, you know, I felt pretty good, but I felt hungry. <laughs> I was scared to eat, so, um, and I wasn't sure what to eat. So um, I, I started, well, what I did is I ate some sweet stuff. Uh, I had some trail mix with some m and so it's kind of a sweet, and I, I ate that uh, thinking I needed to put the sugar into my system. I knew I got rid of a lot of water, and uh, that's all I was doing, drinking water. I didn't want to drink too much, but the same thing, um, sitting on the bus, I'm not using up that water, and, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. First time I've done a bus ride like that. So uh, I ended up. Uh, I did, I did good. I, that was the only time I got sick, and uh, on the way back, didn't get sick at all. Uh, we got into Matamortis uh, at three o'clock in the morning. That'd been Saturday morning. Left Thursday, Thursday evening. Got there Saturday morning, and then uh, uh, I went on and got a hotel room. I mean. Uh, for you know, two days I didn't uh, didn't take a bath or shave or nothing like that. So I thought, yeah, I better get a room, get myself all cleaned up. Besides that, I really wasn't quite sure what to do. Can you see old Gringo pulling his his luggage around three o'clock in the morning in in Marta Tar Ma Matt uh, Mortis, and that's one of the that's that's a pretty dangerous town. Uh, they got a lot of uh, a lot of people get killed there. So I didn't think it'd be a good time for a gringo to be walking around out there. So that's another reason why I got the room. Okay, uh, uh, so that, then in the morning, I didn't even hardly sleep, maybe three hours of sleep. And then uh, uh, then I went, I got a cab, I went to the border, and then uh, uh, it took me by about 45 minutes to get across the border, get my papers stamped and, and all this kind of stuff. And then uh, went on, uh, caught another cab, took me to the airport, Brownsville Airport, and I rented a car. And then, uh, uh, so I got that by 11 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, and I went to, uh, and I headed to uh, Corpus Christi. And then I, uh, the gal was, I was having a hard time. I have a cell phone for the United States, one for down here, and uh, so I, 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 it's a new phone in the United States, so I don't know how to use it quite right. 
and I didn't know how many minutes were on it. I don't know a lot of things about the phone. I don't never talk on the phone. Nobody calls me. So anyway, uh, it took us took us a while. To, it was a, I think like three or four hour drive to get there. And then after I got there, I'm running around. I got a GPS. Took my GPS with me. And so, uh, so at least I knew where I was. And uh, it was it was hard making a connection with her, but we did make the connection. And then.